Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel www.vomeshaibluework.com and today I am going to explain how to calculate the business hours. I would highly recommend everyone to please watch my video which is on how to calculate the weekday and the weekends. Um, so I have added this uh, link in the description box so you can check this out from there. So let's get started for this. In this you have to calculate here. Uh, it's a weekday or weekend so for check weekday here I'm going to calculate and uh, if the date part so I'm going to use your date part function to fetch the week number weekday number uh, as in like from this date and time field so this uh, if, if this is equal to 1 or if this date part is equal to 7, then this has been represented as a weekends. As you have remember in that, in that video, I have explained that 1 and 7, they are the numbers which are defined. 1 has been represented as Sunday, 7 as in Saturday, and between 2 to 6 has been represented as Monday to Friday. So, uh, so as I have mentioned here, like 1 and 7, if, if any number with this 1 or 7, then this is called as a week, weekend and uh, Else, num else, if any uh, weekday number has been represented as a weekday, and so this is how we can calculate whether this is a weekday or a weekend. So this fourteen is a weekday, fifteen is a weekend, eighteen is a weekday, eighteen is a weekend. Uh, sorry, weekday and 22 as a weekend so this is how this weekday and weekend we have calculated this is the first part the second part is you have to calculate the uh, the part where you have to check whether the time business hour so here i am uh, calculating the business hour that is between morning 8 to evening till 5 so these are the business hours you can take any business hours in between and you can calculate those business hours depending on your company on the client so here i'm taking a standard uh, time for business hour working business hour that is between 8 a.m to 5 p.m so for this calculation you need to first uh, truncate this from a date and time value only the uh, only the time so for this you have to again go and in the analysis and create a new calculated field and i'm going to name it this as an uh, our trunk because here i'm going to use a date trunk function where it gives the very accurate and exact uh, hour so here in as i we want to fetch the hour it going to give us a hour and the field is a date time field and you can see this date time field is a timely base it's not just a date because the value itself is also having so i'm going to use this date trunk part just hit on apply and okay if you uh, if you take this uh, to the uh, row you can see this in area no, here uh, you have to go to more and uh, click here on hour so this gives you the hour three as in three hour uh, is an am that's why three if it is 5 pm pm so it so the hour uh, here calculated between 0 to 23 hours so the overall 24 hour clock uh, that's how it represented so 5 uh, 26 which define as 5 pm so that is uh, here with the number if says it's a 17 10 46 that is 22 which is from uh, 10 pm as in 22 11 pm as in 23 and 12 pm as in 24 so the overall you can say from the am and pm it is calculating the exact it is 8 34 pm that's why it's 20 and if this is 8 34 am so it is 8 hour so by this we are just fetching the exact hour not on seconds not on the minutes just on the hour so this is how you can uh, fetch the hour trunk that's how we create the field now we have to uh, create such a categorical field which is going to display us whether this particular time and date uh, along with that whether it, the 
working hour and the business hour is only between Monday to Friday. You cannot say it was on the weekend. That's why I have created first the weekday and then on the hourly basis. So both of this uh, condition will give us the exact business hours. So let's get create this. Again, go on analysis, create a uh, click on create calculated field. And here I'm going to mention the business hour. Okay. So I'm just give it any name. You can give it a name. So here I'm going to go as and write it in the if else condition. If check weekday is equal to weekday. And here again, I'm going to take it as date part. Date part function. And from there again, I'm going to fetch only the hour from the hour calc this our uh, this truncate the calculated field that we have created from there i'm fetching this if this is as i have considered the business hour between 8 am to 5 pm that is business hour so as per that, I'm going to uh, write here condition if if this hour is greater than an equal to 8 because morning 8 a.m. is always going to show as a 8. And again, the date part. Here again, the hour. And I'm going to mention again the hour trunk. And here I will say less than an equal to 5 p.m., which is 5 p.m. will be defined as in 17. So 17. If this, then I will make uh, I will mention this condition as in business hour because this is what my business hour is. Else, I will consider as in off hour. So it does not matter whether it is a weekend, a uh, weekend uh, between 8 to 5. It is also considered as an off hours. And it on apply okay and take it over and drag it to the row again now you can see this is other business hours so this is a weekday and this is at the 10 a.m so that is comes under business hour because we have taken consideration of 8 a.m to 5 p.m similarly if i say the off hour this is on the weekend of obviously but this is a weekday and in weekday is an 8 30 p.m which is says the 20 which means uh, we have uh, considered till 5 p.m., not 8 p.m. So that's how it is called the off hour. So uh, uh, this data is on the incident level. So I can say that any incident uh, which is coming after the, uh, which uh, whether it is in the off hour or in the business hour. So this is how you can calculate your business hour in the off hour. I hope you like this video. And um, if you like this video, then please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Uh, for more of such videos and uh, please may, uh, write a comment on this if you really like this video i really appreciate this and thank you so much for watching this thank you